and uh, we were socializing, uh, we played some games, and we were relaxing, it was about 11 o'clock, and their 19-year-old son walked into the room with two of his friends and said, we're going out. And I said to him, where are you going? And he said, we're going to watch the races. And I said, do you mean street races? Yeah, street racing. Street racers from 25 years ago with the muscle cars and things like that, that was one thing. This isn't your 1950s, let's go find a vacant uh, riverbed and have a little race. This is incredibly dangerous activity that's killing people. We've had actually 14 deaths over the last year in San Diego. Young people drinking, uh, enjoying their time. If there's an altercation and a gun comes out, shots are fired. Why are they posting 65 mile an hour speed limit signs on the freeway, but selling you a car that can do 150? What do you think? People aren't going to do 150? The muscle car era is all coming back. In high school, I wanted a muscle car, and I just it just ended up later on that I ended up getting a Honda. How many y'all got a Honda over here? Come on, y'all are right? That macho thing of the girls saying, I think if girls even stayed away, I don't even think you'd go out there and act a fool in a race car. It was basically founded as a solution to street racing. And over, you know, 40 or 50 years, it evolved into a professional racing organization with a lot of money involved. There's a definite lack of drag strips in Southern California. And if nothing's open, then where the hell are you going to go? You're going to go to the street? That's not an excuse. That's, that's not even half an excuse. If we get an alternative track, then maybe we can prevent kids like my daughter from dying. It was at that moment that, uh, that I realized that the other dead young man laying in the street was my other son. It's not a city issue. No, I'm not going to try to help you build one. No matter whether or not it's a tenth of a mile, a quarter of a mile, I'm not going to do that. We couldn't get the permits because the county didn't want a drag strip. They'd rather put up with illegal late night street racing. Yeah, I'm hoping we're going to have a site. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping we're going to have a site pretty quick. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Bring the kids. I do. The 1320, buddy. 1,320 feet. It's very important. That's where you really feel the power of the car. <laughs> 